So hi, um, my name is Pei Nuohe, and today I'm gonna pre present my midpoint review uh, project called the uh, Movie Walker. So um, my name, as I said, my name is Pei Nuohe, and you can call me Rami. And I'm from China, and I would like to be a UI or UX designer. So this is the previously uh, <coughs> portfolio uh, about uh, from the user, uh, the principle of user experience class. So this um, design basically is uh, about the app, uh, the app to help a user can um, allow user temporary rent the personal parking spot to solve the problem with uh, San Francisco par uh, parking. So this is uh, from the motion graphic class. It's a, a sequence about uh, Under the Dome. It's an Amer American drama. And this is the design work from um, Visual Design Strategy class. It's a, it's a website called Pitvol. So basically, it's uh, calling people to stop uh, purchase uh, pits and uh, support them to adoption the pits. <clears throat> so, um, before I get into my um, project detail, I want to show you guys something. Um, this guy is traveling around the Europe to find, and uh, he was trying to find the movie locations in real life, and also trying to recreate it. And so, basically, um, uh, like uh, you can see, it's Harry Potter on the middle, and also the right one. And guess what? He is not the only one who's doing this. Also me. <clears throat> so the right, uh, the left one is uh, from the movie called Ant Man, and the right one is uh, from a very classic movie, also was filmed in San Francisco called, called the, the Pursuit of Happiness. So um, before we get into my, uh, the detail, let me introduce my project with a short concept video. Okay, so um, one sentence to describe my app will be, um, this is an app about um, help user to find the movie locations in real life and also recreate the movie scenes. So there are a group of people who love watching movies so much and they are also curious about the movie locations in real life. So, but they don't have uh, any resource about the movie location in real life. So with Movie Walker, you can easily find the movie locations in real life, and also you can even recreate the movie scenes. So <clears throat> the problem will be movie lover want to find the movie locations in real life, but they don't have any resource. So, <clears throat> so their need will be um, they want to find the movie locations in real life. And the goal will be um, solve the problem with an um, app called the Movie Walker. <clears throat> okay, now let's move on to the market research. So um, <clears throat> the data shows there were um, 347 films released in last year, which is uh, 2015. And guess which state, which state have the most movie locations in the United States? California. It's the number one. And so there also um, there were 927 films filmed in uh, in California. It's a total number in the history. There were 277 films filmed in San Francisco. This is also a total number in the history. 
So in theory, Movie Worker can help users to recreate the movie scenes anywhere for anywhere for anyone. But in reality, Movie Worker starts in San Francisco. <clears throat> the other data shows there were 1.37 billion movie tickets sold last year. It's quite a big number. And also, data shows there are 180 million Americans who watch movie <coughs> each month, including online. And also, I made a survey to ask people just one simple question. Have you ever wanted to find the movie locations in real life? And 20, 24 people took the survey, and 19 people said they want to find the movie location in real life. <clears throat> so now, OK, uh, I'm going to talk about um, my competitors. So the key competitor is called PhotoPlace. It's a Chinese app. Um, so basically, this app allow you allow users to um, take a photo by um, Hollywood movie style. So um, <clears throat> as you can see in the uh, picture, um, this app allow user to add, uh, add the subtitle on the bottom. So, but the coins, the main coins, is done maintain user interesting. This is this, my second uh, competitor called SingPass. It's an American native app. And this app uh, basically allows users to do the time travel. So uh, time travel is uh, <coughs> it's see the same location with different time. And, but the main coin is, uh, is the, visual good, uh, the visual design is not very good. And this is the third competitor. It's a website called the movie app, uh, the moviemap.com, and this website basically shows some movie locations in real life. Um, so the the coins will be the just only few movie locations and not detailed information. And as a website, it's not very convenient. So <clears throat> this is the form shows the difference between four apps, including my app, Movie Worker. So by examining this form, we can see the, that PhotoPlace is my primary competitor. OK, so now let's move on to the solution. So my solution will be um, a native app, iPhone app called the Movie Worker, so also with three benefits, which is quick, easy, and fun. Quick search by movie names, quick search by movie list, and tearing uh, off the ticket to access the detail page. And easy to find the movie locations by map, and easy to recreate movies by overlay layer. So you can share with other users, and also you can recreate movie scenes by just taking a photo. It's kind of really fun and also very easy to do that. So um, as I said before, um, this guy, he is traveling around the world to taking the photo that recreate the movie scenes from the movie. And this, um, this guy also is my inspiration. So this is the proposed movie list, which is those movie, um, those movie scenes those movie information, detail information, location in location in real life, I will put in my um, app database. As you can see, um, it's also including very classic movie uh, was filmed in San Francisco, such as Bullet and Vertigo. Okay, so now now you see is my information architecture. As you can see, I use a different color to show the different different level. So <clears throat> now let's talk about the target audience. So my primary target audience will be um, aged between 20 to uh, 35, both male and female. For, for the primary target audience will be um, the people who is movie lover. So also it's independent traveler. So movie fans, 
who are willing to spend extra time with a movie. So I have, I actually have a friend uh, who is a super movie fan. So basically, um, when I ask him about the why do you like uh, why do you love movies so much, um, he uh, he said like I don't even know why I so love the movie, but I have to watch a movie every day, otherwise I can't sleep. So kind of like crazy. <clears throat> so this is the secondary target audience. Um, for those people, uh, basically it's about a travel lover who is getting tired about the normal travel. Because they don't want to like, uh, when they visit a new city, just a very normal like, um, someone come to San Francisco, they don't want to just see the Golden Gate Bridge, kind of like boring, everyone can go to the Golden Gate Bridge, right? So they want to find a new way to visit that city. So <clears throat> Kelly Underwood would be my key persona. Um, he's a female and 28 years old. Um, he's, she's living in San Francisco and she's super movie lover, crazy about the movie. Um, she loves to uh, discover anything about the movie. So, so which means she's also willing to spend extra time on the movie. <clears throat> so um, Kelly is a um, student working on MFA in motion picture television major. So she is a movie lover because she loves movies and she decided to study some, something about the movie. So um, she's very curious about the movie locations in real life, but she don't know like as I said before, like those people, they don't, uh, they don't have a resource about the movie locations in real life. So um, Kelly is, is also the same. Um, so she decided to find the movie locations in real life, and also try to record the movie scenes by just take a photo. So this is the task flow, which is the uh, first main task flow to recreate the movie scenes with the real people. As you can see, just simple steps to you can just finish the task. And this is a, ta a second task flow, um, looking for a specific movie locations. Um, it's basically the same, you just click the movie list, enter the um, movie detail information page, and you can just check the movie location um, in the detail page. And you can even open the map through the movie location detail page. Well, let's move on to the proof of concept. So as you can see, it's a movie worker a welcome page. Um, you, as a new user, you can just uh, click sign up. Also, uh, or if you are a returning user, you can just click the login. Um, I, also put, uh, I also put the third option here, which is skip. Um, I understand like people, they don't want, or when they download a new app, they don't want or they don't want to always create a new account, even with using their Facebook. So uh, I put here to allow user, if they just recreate the movie seems not share with other users, so they can just choose um, skip. If they have to share with other users, um, they will ask to log in the app. And this is the main page. Um, so this page just shows the user's poster in random order. Um, you can click the search button uh, you to access the movie list page. And also, you, as you can see, all the icons I use, the element about the movie, such as the movie glasses and the movie um, ticket something. <clears throat> okay, so once you click the search button, you will be, uh, get the movie list page. and. Those, uh, in, at this page, I use uh, movie tickets to show the movie name, um, including the director, the, um, the, the date of re uh, the movie released, and also important thing is um, how far from user. So this page is basically um, based on user's location. And you can just tear up the movie ticket like you are tearing up the real ticket in your real life to enter the detail page. Okay, once you get into the detail page, you, as you can see, you, did, 
you will get um, a few movie scenes photo from uh, from the original movie, and you will also get the um, movie information such as like uh, movie locations in and the movie introduction. <clears throat> so and if you scroll to the bottom, uh, as you can see, um, they have some other users recreate movie scenes. Um, and you also can see is uh, I put the like here, so which uh, the first place will show the most people like it, the movie uh, seems right? that the user recreated. <clears throat> so uh, once you click the movie scenes photo, you will bring to the full screen page, which allow user to see the movie scenes more cleanly. And um, I also put the little button here, so uh, if you click the bottom right corner uh, button, you will get to the recreate movie scenes page. And uh, as you might notice, uh, I put the overlay layer on the top. So uh, the reason why I put the overlay layer here is I, I want to help user to more easily you, uh, recreate the movie scenes. So I put the original movie scenes on the top. and it's this is the overlay also is the uh, resizable overlay layer, which means you can resize the, the the overlay layer to the any size, even to the full screen. Just like tear up the ticket, you can even tear up the overlay layer if you don't want to. And once you finish the um, photo taking, you you will get the notification. The system will tell you your photo has been saved. And you, so once you uh, after once you finish the recreate movie scenes, you will get to the upload page. Um, in this page, uh, the system will ask the users to um, fill out the information and check the uh, the movie scenes that they just recreated. So. Um, once users uh, check all the information, uh, you uh, user just click the upload. You will back to the main page, and uh, the newest poster will be on the top place. And also, the system will send a notification to the user to uh, to show to tell user the poster has been uploaded. Okay, so um, now let's move on to the mood board. So uh, for the movie, I try to use something about the movie. So as you can see, uh, I put the Legos movie and like such as like um, movie icons, and also I put the texture paper on there because um, in my uh, movie list page I have a texture background. So <clears throat> this is the logo iteration. Uh, as you can see, the right one is the final logo, and on the on the bottom line, it's uh, the design process. Um, start from the first one, it's uh, W, and I use the movie elements, um, trying to relate to about the movie. And this icon is very similar with Chinese uh, movie TV television channel icon. Um, but once I done this. I found like um, seems doesn't work, so I tried to use the, another way to design my icon. So, so this is pretty much the the process about the about the icon. About the um, about the body font, I choose the Latu. Latu uh, it's a polish, and uh, it's really uh, released the polish design a uh, designer in two thousand. Eight. So uh, the reason why I choose uh, Lato is uh, Lato in the Polish means summer. So when people think about the summer, they will think uh, they will remind the beach, sunshine, and happy. So uh, this is also why um, this is also what I try to bring to user. I want the user um, when they use my app, they will feel happy. And this is the um, user testing. So first time I test the well frame, frame with the 
<coughs> with uh, like five users. And second time, I, I test a low fidelity paper prototyping with six people. And this is a te technical plan. So uh, for the frame, I will use uh, HTML5 and C CSS to build a frame, <coughs> and using the JavaScript and jQuery to build a function. And movie worker definitely need the database. So I, <coughs> I will put the PHP and MySQL. For the future development, I will use Xcode to call in my app. <coughs> Okay, so this is the plan for the classes and testing. So um, I am right in the spring now. So um, this semester I will through the midpoint review, and um, I also take the four classes, um, also including one graphic uh, graph design classes called making idea visible, which this class is very helpful to open your mind to basis um, um, to teach you how to make a book and also teach you how to um, design a poster. So <clears throat> uh, in the break, uh, which is the Supreme break, I will, uh, I will do in my first uh, UX testing. And when I get the summer semester, I will do doing the UI design. And also um, based on the feedback, uh, I will improve the uh, user experience. <clears throat> and I also will, um, after that, I also will um, uh, build a clickboard prototype and also will do the second time user UX testing. And to, uh, and to the uh, 2016 fall semester, I will optimize my uh, user, user interface and I also uh, will do the app development. And to the last semester, I will um, do the debugging for the app to double check that my app will be the perfect. So, <clears throat> and also we'll through the final review. That's all about my, my midpoint review. Thank you.